Hello, viewers, welcome to Who Reviews. And today, I mean, you go, go rush episode that 30. And then there's a Yumu is trying to get the, some stamps on this uh, card from a bakery that sells like uh, curry bread. Yeah, I wonder what that, that tastes like. So he can get some plates that he's collecting. Yeah, apparently he really likes the uh, campaigns like that. And that's yeah, uh, getting everybody else in UTS to eat curry bread so he can get stamps. And that's how they begin with the uh, Udius and uh, Yuhi having like a pickup duel. And uh, you, he has to explain to you, uh, 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 he has to explain uh, the the difference between the uh, symbols of the uh, equip spells and feel spells. Um, the after the title, the uh, Yumu has a. Uh, 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 as I lost uh, one of her uh, stickers, but luckily, uh, one of you get the uh, gizzer one that he made. Yeah, and when you go to the uh, bakery, it turned out they don't have any plates left since the manager uh, broke them. Yeah, and the manager is just very say, stoic. He doesn't really uh, they care what Yumu, Yumu is saying, and when she just says, lend her uh, soul out of why she uh, she's been doing this, it's, see, he doesn't care. And when the employees come saying that he hasn't eaten in the Three days. And apparently, even though he, he sells curry, he doesn't like it. So he just sells everybody else. Yeah, that sounds like a smart, smart uh, business strategy. I heard the bakery is making that much money. And when a uh, human decides to uh, have a rush duel and winner uh, or if she wins they get the plate. So now the manager is uh, Zuijo and the employee is uh, uh, the Flatwoods monster guy or Asshole name is. Yeah. I think it was a little obvious but hmm um yeah I think it's all decent with the uh, both the uh, Yumu and the Zuijo uh, have some new monsters and equip spells. Yeah, I just wonder where they got the equip spells. Like for a uh, Roven, uh, dual. Uh, yeah, Udius. She was the only one. That ever had the equipped spell, so. Hmm. And during the first part of the duel, a uh, Yumu notices that Suizo is really acting like himself. And um, yeah, later on, that just shows that uh, that's because he's hungry, like starving. And this is a good part when uh, Yumu actually plays her field spell and uh, the flap was a uh, monster is saying that the symbols look uh, different than she thinks says the that she's talking about the symbols on the on the spell card but turned out the flap monsters talk about this the uh, this the symbols on the sticker. Yeah, you you may got caught. 
Oh yeah, at one point she called herself the uh, queen of the uh, campaigns or something. Is that how she got or was she gave her or she gave herself? Cause I don't, I don't know or remember if uh, uh, like uh, she ever called herself that before. Mm. Um, this one uh, looked like uh, Yumu was gonna win. Yeah, Teresa was just, uh, after he's a uh, uh, trap card and summons uh, a new monster and, some, and using his own uh, equipped spell using the monster's effect, which said uh, when he sends the, send the card to the graveyard, gets the monster's up by power, uh, his uh, attack points up to 500 and his pawn monster uh, has, to, has to go to face down defense position and the equip spell. That only use goes to the graveyard. Yeah, I kind of expected the Yumu to lose. Like I do think they they're doing well, like uh, writing the female characters well since uh, as seven. But yeah, if the main female beats the protagonist's uh, main rival, he wouldn't be double sort of threat then, would he? Hmm. Yeah, you, yeah, I said Yumu loses and the Flatbush monster tries to get her to get, to keep secret of the med run the baby from the MIK. And Yumu was I guess at first when she sees uh Teresa will probably give her her plate. He as he passes out and breaks it when uh Loses the energy because of the duel. Loses the energy because of the duel. Oh, yeah, at one point, the Pelican Monster said, was said, uh, say he's gonna E for Suizo. I know this must be for kids, but how do I make, make them feel any better? Hmm. Anyway, uh, Yumi was just uh, heartbroken so he couldn't get the final place in here for a collection. And Yuri just explains that he actually made, made uh, his own uh, stamp sticker or whatever for himself and gave himself one for every uh, person he helps. And when he gets 10, he gets a prize. And it also turns out he made uh, a play for uh, Yumu to play for collection. And he actually thought that the colors of the play are supposed to represent the attribute. Of the Doom Monsters cards, and actually painted the light sorcerer on it. And the last line Yumu says is a joke. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think it's a a good episode. There was some grown moments in it, but I can't replay really everybody. And I, I think it is good showing a uh, Yumu actually acting a bit like a kid and they wanted to collect uh, some sort of a uh, memorabilia or whatever like a uh, guardians uh, that doppelganger said he does have to deal with the stress of being a pre the president of a company so every once in a while it's actually like a kid that uh, really does harm and uh, I do like that Yui as he points out after Ed Gallen said that that uh, none of the adult members of the uh, UTS uh, company aren't eating the uh, curry bread. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I brought back uh, the curry uh, in this from a uh, I'm just re probably reference to the uh, the magical curry from Sevens. Like it, it explodes, it makes good rocket fuel or any sort of energy fuel, but mm. um, yeah, I think it would uh, seem to switch all a, a little differently in this. His own way, hates and ways like when he's hungry and that. But 
don't know if that's a, is a good idea making Star Wars put him in uh, the comic relief uh, episode, but hmm. And uh, yeah, next week, uh, Sayaka is gonna be going up against uh, the Ronde uh, variant in uh, a remote. Ever stool or whatever. Yeah, I kind of spent expect uh, Ronze variant to lose, but that way see they pull their some surprises before in sevens. Um, I think they did it once or twice here. If I remember. Hmm. I'm just wondering how the Ronze variant was able to. Egg get here because one see on, on Earth with the other MIK members of Southern, or maybe they're they're also on the the gear ship. Ah, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe you missed one episode and everything just on the little confusing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's it. I do. See you guys later.